moving on to our third question. Yep. What's your AFQY experience? G'day, it's Ryan the Line from Few Quiet Yarns, and with me today is Janine Morris, and we are sitting right up here in the Sky Cafe of Sky City. We'll show you some views later. Yeah. Ah, my AFQI experience. Well, firstly, it was um, being introduced, well, you introduced yourself yeah. to me, which is really nice, and, and I wasn't familiar with it. Um, I've only managed to make one drinks, um, which was great. And you know we've met a couple of times and just engaged, and it's always been really great conversation, just about what's happening in the world and in general around our industry. Cool. Well, thank you very much. And look, one is amazing. I always say there's no obligation. Come when you can. Come, yeah. when, come when you can. <laughs> yeah. Don't when you can't. Yeah. Um, it's, it's no problem. So yeah. the idea is that you enjoy it when you do. It's not something you feel like oh, I've got to go and show up because Ryan keeps bugging me. <laughs> um, not at all. So I, d I, I do thank you for actually putting the calendar up this year. Oh yeah. So at least I can start <laughs> planning because <laughs> every time it's like oh it's on this week and I can't go. Yes. So coming back to that um, being busy and always having time point. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm always busy and never have time and and always putting things up a week late, so a week to go. So <laughs> yes, this year there is an annual calendar, the dates are set. Yes, I do like that. And there's one very important date that we can mention, I think, May the 28th. May the 28th, yes. Yes, so uh, going to do the No Woman, which did in 2018, we're going to do it slightly different. So for the first time ever in 13 years of AFQY, we're going to have speakers. And Janine happens to be one of the speakers. I volunteered. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be an amazing event on May the 20th. A range of stories yeah. uh, of women IT, women in business, sharing their perspective, some of the pains and some of the joys. And the um, story I hope you'll be able to share is one you've just shared now in a little bit more detail around the career choices to yes. suit raising a family yeah. by yourself, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I don't regret it one bit. No. No. Well, if, if, if I could have uh, a role at your level <laughs> at all, I would be grateful. But to have also raised three kids as well, then I would be as Thank amazing you. as you. Thank you. My pleasure. So the last question yes. is, what's the coolest thing in tech? Not the highest trending thing on the internet, but you personally, what do you really love about tech? Um, I just love how rapidly it has evolved. I, got, I, have, I think I ended up... I grew up being a little bit of a geek. Yeah. I grew up with Star Trek. watching now is how we're interacting with tech so you know the, the whole chatbots um, you know you, you can't get to a human yet it's, it's how we're evolving as a race where we're engaging with tech prior to engaging with humans so I'm just I'm very I'm, I'm following that closely yeah. at the moment the whole AI journey is fascinating to me yeah. so we, we went I think we did a massive jump we were we had yes. these chatbots that could answer a few questions yes. and quite often I would get the um, response I don't know what you mean could yes. you, could you? <laughs> and it was like oh that's not Star Trek at all no but now of course we've jumped to the digital humans and there's yes. two uh, world leading brands in New Zealand being um, unique and soul machines yeah. uh, who have these amazing digital humans and the experience um, yeah it's, it's quite different yeah it's, it's, it's exciting and frightening at the same time yeah. I think that's what fascinates me the most well just like in Star Trek, we've got all the other movies <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like iRobot, Terminator. Yes, yes. And um, yeah, it's interesting. Well, the, the last one I mentioned is um, The Fifth Element, where Mila Hohovich <gasps> is the fifth element and she learns everything off the My internet. Favorite movie. And then says, I'm not going to save the humans because what we do to each yes, other. Yes. So imagine if a machine or a robot learned everything off the YouTube and went, these guys, you guys are aren't crazy. Worth, yeah, <laughs> you're not worth saving. <laughs> or I'm going to do something to save you because yeah, you need it. Because you need it, yeah. 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 Oh, well, that's fantastic. So uh, any last words of encouragement to uh, anyone out there, especially the young woman oh. who look at the IT industry and think, I don't see a lot of people like myself because it's 80-20 male-female. Yes. Um, yeah. But hopefully they look towards you and say, 
I want to be like Janine. You so know, what advice I, would I you? Think, I think the young women now have so many more opportunities in, in tech. Yeah. Um, and I think tech is embracing it more. Um, don't hold back. You know, I, when I was in my technical side, um, I would be the only female in a room of 40 men um, on a course. So it was, and, and you could, that was really uncomfortable. I don't believe that's happening now. So I think, you know, young yeah. women today have just absolutely got this nailed. That's great to hear. Well, with that, we'll say kakitiano. We'll get a few views of the, a few shots of the view. Yes, and um, I'll, I'll splice those in. And thank you very much for having me here at the, the Sky Tower. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Kakitiano.